Hi guys and welcome to your March 2022. This is going to be the Their Confessions for the Beautiful Side of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the Pisces season, first half of the month confessions. These are timeless readings. If you are one of those individuals who put your energy on a schedule, then this is not the channel or the video for you. Also, um, this is going to be retro. Um, there was some time that was lost at the, at the beginning of the month. We are a couple of days into the season changing and I'm putting them all up in order. So if you're interested in knowing what happened to see if it resonated, it's still energy. It's still a message. It doesn't expire just because that date is gone. If you really know how to watch the video. Um, so Let's go ahead and get Virgo, uh, get started, Virgo. If that is not your thing and not your jam, we ain't got to talk about it. I'll see you, catch you on the rebound. Your reading starts now. All right, we do have a new deck. We're going in with the uh, Confessions 2, Dark Confessions of the Soul Messages 2. I love this one. Been dropping jewels, dropping jewels. Virgo, you were number two at the top of the month, so this will be extended for purchase if you're interested in doing that, okay? Um, I am a Scentsy consultant now, so if scented wax and warmers is your thing, then you can go ahead. The link is below, and the information on the incentives that go with that is also below, too. Um, every order that you get, every single order, you will get 20% off on the reading, period. That's the deal. That's the thing. That's how we going. Um, if you're anything like me, you need your sense. So it just made sense with all of the money that I was spending to go ahead and just do the damn thing. So that's what I did, Virgo. And you appreciate a good hustle. Let's keep going. All right. I am not serious. I am stringing you along. You know, Virgo, this is so interesting because your moon is tomorrow. Um, and your full moon is hitting you in your first house. So you've had a lot of excavating that you have been doing, um, with getting people out of your life and discerning between who actually is not serious and who is stringing you along. But I'm going to tell you, um, when I touched this card and I went into your energy, I do not believe that this is the truth. I think that this person is immature. And I think that what it is, is that they are angry. I just felt a rush of anger with that particular card. You set your boundaries, Virgo. You decided that you are not dealing with something. All of the earth signs are going through that. And although you are mutable earth, you are no exception. I can feel, I can breathe again. I can't, can I, can I read tonight, Virgo? I feel I can breathe again after you left my life. I felt trapped. Now, I do believe part of this. I feel like there was a lot of pressure that you put on this individual to get their shit together. You put a lot of time and energy into uh, building up people you love, Virgo, and this is no exception. Um, we'll see what happens in the, uh, in the clarification and the extended I believe this partially. I do not believe that they can breathe. I think that they feel a temporary reprieve because the, your, the, your foot is off of their neck, but they're pissed off about it. Your uh, diligence and your telling them what to do, and I hate to say this because um, your partner is not your child. Unfortunately, they act like a child. And I'm not I'm not pointing fingers, but I am saying that there was a lot of things that they just didn't do to match your work. And as a result of that, you got tired of that. And they don't like the criticism. They felt trapped because they could not quite put produce and and do what you did. And that's what it was. OK, I have family issues. I need to heal right now. This is absolutely the truth. Virgo, I feel like you were a prize to this individual. They came to the table with a lot of family issues and you were willing and able to step up to the plate and help them out keeping the communication open with them and doing everything that you needed to do to get things moving, Virgo. I feel like as a result of that, you had expectations as if anybody would. I mean, you made this person a better person almost. And the least, and the least that they can do um, is to act a little bit more appreciative. I just don't feel like 
Um, I feel like they fell short of your expectation. And as a result, you tried to make them better than what their family narrative would have been, what the narrative would have been had you not come in and helped them out. They did feel trapped, but they have family issues. So they're trapped in those family issues, trying to take things out on you. Okay. I am focused on my business and progress in life to put any, I am focusing on my business and progress in life to put any energy into this connection. You help them get on their feet. You were the reason for the season. They can't do anything to, to get away from you right now because they have to break the energy. And, and it's almost like they're proving the point to prove that they can do this on their own. Even if it means, and I have not read this yet, we will find out what comes out in the extension, attaching themselves to somebody that's not going to put as much pressure on them. What people don't realize is, is when you move into the arms of another person, they don't love you for you. I hate to say this because when you run away, I'm not saying that people don't love you for you. I'm saying in a scenario where you're running away from one to run to the other, thinking that the grass is going to be greener on the other side, let me clarify you really find out that this person and you are drawn to each other because you're drawn to each other for your broken pieces. But at the end of the day, you still have a mess over there and you have not cleaned that mess up. And as a result of that, um, you have two messes and two homes and you find out as this other person gets to know you like the other person did, i.e. you Virgo, then they will start to understand why you did and said what you did and said. They need to focus on their business right now. Um, they unfortunately don't know how to not put energy into the connection, um, Virgo, unfortunately, without, I've said unfortunately eight times, without um, um, uh, breaking away from you. It's hard to do that because so much of their business and their life progress has been wrapped around your tools and gifts and what you have given them. They don't know how to break away from that. I am putting too much energy into this connection and it's draining me. Um, they're putting too much energy into the connection is false. I do feel like, again, they're very angry because you put boundaries up. Um, they are focusing on their business and progress in life to put any energy, to put any energy into this connection. And this is that they're putting too much. They definitely feel like they are underappreciated. I will say that. I feel like the expectations have been blown and you were not, um, you were not Virgo, um, happy about what you saw in them. Um, they fell out of your favor after a while. Okay. Um, gaslighting you makes me feel in control by invalidating your feelings. And that's exactly what gaslighting is about. Um, there's a bunch and a lot of gaslighting um, that goes on. Will not invalidate your feelings at all. I mean, will not validate your feelings at all. Will only bring their feelings to the forefront. That is very, very sad. Uh, this person is trying to attempt to gaslight. You are standing firm in your feelings, Virgo. You are not going to allow them to do that. They can invalidate away. You have gotten to the point where you degaff, okay? And you are standing strong and standing very, very, very like firm on how you feel. And you're not going for the banana in the tailpipe at all. Um, they felt trapped. They couldn't take the pressure. And so they need somebody who they can, that, that uh, they feel they need somebody that's beneath them. Somebody who they can control to make them feel valid, Okay. Okay, that's what I see and we do. I had to let you go in order to face my own demons. Actually, this is partially true. You let them go. Okay. Um, they did have demons. They have family issues. A lot of the demons is surrounded or revolves around their family issues, Virgo, because um, they said that they have family issues that they need to heal right now. But um, they're just some things that they don't want you to see. And that's not fair to you, but they get to a point where they gaslight you 
and try to invalidate your feelings because it makes them feel in control because they don't have anything else. Their family issues have effed them up so bad that they they have to gaslight because they are gaslighted. They are not validated in their family. And some of them with these family issues didn't even have a mom. This is uh, some things that are playing back. Um, into their life and wreaking havoc and Virgo you came in and tried to love them despite that and they just could not take it okay I can't forget you and the thought of you is too painful see and this is exactly what I'm resonating with I called them out on BS the entire time they can't forget you and the thought of you is too painful because they royally screwed this up royally um, I'm feeling like I am definitely gravitating toward that card the top of the deck brings i used you for my own gain and growth thank you this person is pissed off at you because that gain and growth that they said that they used you for is actually a projection you got them on their feet and got them together and now they have to break away because all of your support and the resources and things that you gave them you're taking back because of the gaslighting um, and then we also have my needs and wants were more important than yours. Um, I don't believe that this is necessarily the case. I feel like this is another projection. They definitely feel like you feel like your needs and wants were more important than theirs because you were the one that was given so much. So um, their family issues and their inability to be able to deal with their problems properly has them projecting this back onto you. And as a result, it's just a never ending cycle that you put the kibosh on. Wow. Wow. I don't force me to love you. I will run. Woo, woo, woo. I am telling you that I am feeling gravitated toward. I can't forget you and the thought of you is too painful. Um, it is because whatever went down between you guys went down in a very bad way. Um, and your Virgo, your full moon in Virgo, Virgo is going to have you focusing on your first house stuff that's taking place tomorrow. Um, so when I bring you your confession for Aries season, which is going to be coming up because I'm trying to drop them in four. So everything is up. Um, we'll see what happens, but I think you're finally moving into an energy where you're putting yourself first and you're not going to allow this person to do this anymore. Virgo, this is what I'm feeling, but this is their confession. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe if you're interested in placing a, 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 a Sensi order. Um, and I've neglected to say that that order, um, obviously, uh, there is a dollar amount that is associated with that, but it will give you 20% um, percent off. Um, any orders that are um, subtotaling, I believe it was, it's down in the description. Maybe that I forgot to tell you guys. Um, anything that's $35 or more um, and it's easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> so everything with a confirm order, you just simply shoot me your, your confirmation. I'll see it. I will immediately with the email that you purchased through, send you your code. It will be for you. Uh, and it will, uh, and because they are based upon order, each one of them will expire. Each one that you get will expire. So um, you will just keep getting them. If every order that you place, you will get 20% email to you and you can use it and they do not expire until you use it. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe if that's something that you're interested in, Virgo. And I look forward to doing business with you and I will see you in your extension. Bye, guys.